this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Sagittarian Sun Moon Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and thank you for the wonderful support please like and share the full moon reading is out and I advise you Sagittarians to go and check out the full moon readings because there's a lot of information that is there um, you can download this by using the link and I want to say to each and every person thank you for supporting my channel this is the third week of December the week is the week of justice and the energy vibration from Monday till Friday is for you guys and in the weekend Saturday and Sunday it's going to be an earth energy let's see what's coming in for the Sagittarians on Monday you have the energy of temperance balancing you need to find balance within your life and balancing out certain aspects and situations in your life this is what is coming in it's an earth sign energy so this is going to be positive for you fire sign energy so then on Tuesday we have a new start coming in for you guys a new message of a new start this new start is going to be teaching you how to move forward in your life on a positive positive note that is a fire energy okay then we have another fire energy a new start of a strong foundation that you're going to be rebuilding your life in a positive way on Thursday um, we have the energy of you are in limbo okay you're in limbo you're trying to find out how to deal with a situation because there has been so much that has been happening in your life and now you're trying to find out how is it you can um, reevaluate the burdens that you have been carrying and this is coming up on Friday um, it is a good week for you Sagittarians because there is just a lot of stuff that is happening the seven of Pentacles is here and it has to do with a project it has to do with something some issues that you have been trying to work on that you have been trying to make headway in and you're going to be finding this out now your own energy vibration comes in um, up on Sunday and this is going to be good because it's going to be moving you forward in the week of Christmas so whatever is happening um the energy of the king of pentacles is here with the eight of wands so some of you could be receiving messages from the king of pentacles this is a taurus virgo or capricorn this man is between the ages of 40 this person could have between the ages of 40 a 45 and older 45 and older and this is going to be very very positive and very good positive um, information could be coming in it could be a conflicting situation that you're trying to protect yourself from so there is going to be you finding balance to deal with some obstacles in your way or some burdens that you're carrying but some good news on here good news about your project and showing you that your project or whatever you're working on is in a strong position it's standing it's strong ground you're going to be finding the inner guidance and wisdom to move forward and this is going to be good so the energy of the temperance and the new start is here what is this about for the Saji? it's about um, something that happened in the past and you're trying to um, make the best of it now okay something has transpired in the past and you're trying to find the best way to resolve it then you have the energy of the three of Pentacles so a new start is going to be coming in some of you could be deciding to move in with someone some of you could be deciding to start over some of you could be deciding to give your marriage another chance okay Alrighty, the four of ones and uh, in limbo. What is this all about? The four of ones and in limbo. It's about uh, um, dealing with uh, um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion between the ages of 18 and uh, 45. So, some of you, this could be your son. And if 
this is your son maybe um, your son father is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this person um, you know maybe you're going to be receiving some message from this person okay now as we look at the ten of ones the energy of the ten of ones um, and the seven of Pentacles I see you you're going to be very victorious in a project or something that you're working on you're going to be extremely victorious because what is happening is that um, you're going to be victorious lay um, working um, it could be a situation that has to do with your son or your partner if your son is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 or your partner you uh, it could be your husband also because the energy of uh, this is there if some of you could be getting married to this person there is a lot of uh, um, obstacles that you have to get over because it's a project so the energy of some worry some sadness is here um, to do with uh, um, your projects or something that you're dealing with so you have the energy of finding balance in this week is going to be one of the foremost and as you find the balance there is going to be some really wonderful positive news that is going to be coming at you so find the balance in this week and as you find the balance in this week there is going to be some wonderful positive energies that is going to be coming out let's look and see what is happening because there was some um, some things that uh, um, you know went away because you have um, you have to learn balance to deal with some obstacles in your way and as you do that a new start is going to be coming through so whatever the obstacles is whatever that you need to balance out you will balance the situation out and uh, you are going to be having a new start now this new start is going to be coming in with a project or a situation that you're working on it could be a situation that it is your business or your marriage or you're trying to resolve a family situation it could be your business or marriage or you're trying to resolve a family situation that has to do with uh, um, the Pisces cancer or scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 now this could be a house situation with your kids in the house and you're trying to find inner strength and understanding what is he doing why is he playing these games what is he up to okay what is he doing why is he playing these games and what is he up to so it's going to be something because you're going to try and figure out what exactly is going on okay some of you are going to be connecting with others in group there is going to be a victory over the sadness that has been transpiring for you this burden that you have been carrying um, resolving a situation and trying to work out the situation um, you're going to be victorious over it it, it looks as if you know there is no end to it but it's going to be um, there is going to be outcomes and let's see what is going to be the outcomes of this situation that is coming in okay so some news is going to be coming in for a lot of you and this news is about a new start okay this new start is that you could be working with others on a project or you could be networking you could be connecting with others but you could be also connecting with a Pisces cancer scorpion that it could be a family member or your partner now there is a situation overseas some news overseas about the house or some travel could be coming up and that is good you could be receiving information from the Pisces cancer scorpion um, overseas about a project and you're going to be victorious there is an end that is coming to um, you um, in balance uh, in you know finding strength to deal with a situation there is an end that is coming to this okay there's really an end that is coming to this I am seeing some new possibilities some new direction that is about to come out this was a karmatic situation so um, learn and um, remember the um, this is a lesson 
this is a week of a lesson this is the end of the situation um, there is lessons to be learned take the lessons and uh, try and make the best of it because what whatsoever is happening with a house abroad um, you are going to be um, very balanced out about this situation you're going to be working with people um, you know and to, on a project some of you are going to be networking some of you are going to be connecting and finding the right people these situations are going to be happening and coming up some of you could be receiving messages from your child's father from overseas this could be via telephone calls or that sort of a thing whatever you were seeing clearly is going to be coming in balance in this week and it's going to be good now this week we are working with the wisdom oracles and the energy that is going to be coming through is that we're going to be choosing two cards and from these two cards you guys are going to be choosing one I um, and there are two cards that keep on coming up so you know okay here we go all right there are two cards choose one of these cards as you choose one of these cards rem remember the card that you choose because this is what is going to be giving you an answer the first card that I have is here and now whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring think of here and now and that is the only thing that matters think of here and now that is the only thing that matters at this time then the second card is orphan some of you in this week is going to be feeling alone as if there is you know whatever the situation is some of you are going to be really really feel it alone and um, accept this but use the time to do something um, positive okay it's Christmas some of you could be feeling alone at this moment but um, choose the time to make something positive happen in your life ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for being here and I want to thank you for returning Please like share these videos and the moon reading is out go and um, check out the moon reading because there's a lot of information that is going to be coming in to tell you what the Pisces person is all about and what the store Virgo Capricorn is all about um, your burdens are going to be um, and you're going to be learning how to deal with your burdens okay um, there is news um, of some of you um, could be traveling it's not going to be happening um, some of you who wish to travel this is not going to be happening um, so let it go um, maybe it's not um, best for you to go and you're being protected by your angels and guides namaste until next time